It is the only show that brings you so much inspiring stories and different segments all in farming, from market value to how to segment to in the market segment. And today is no different because we bring you an inspiring story of Timothy Simiu, who practices a different type of farming, horse rearing. For these and more inspiring stories, this is Arable Africa with me, Faraji Kevin. Welcome to the show. Today, Arable Africa is doing it a little bit differently. We are focusing on horse rearing. Quite a rare case of agribusiness, but Timothy happens to be a proud owner of a 28 horse table. Yeah, so far, Nikona, okay, for us, Okubo, I've come my Shirina. Oh, okay, look at 28. But for me, I'm not totally among Gezeka, on Gezeka, even though Kunanga and on Gezeka and Giona Kufa. Kufka sign Nikama to Kukona first come around the 30. Nilianza first in Nikona and Kakumna Sita. Na Nikotumi, Nilipata to Susan Kakumbata and Lianza Aje, and Lianza Kama volunteer Kusaidia, Malia Farasi. You Okatuli Fika Sikwa and experience Yota anything. So ni kaza na ngamia, hata ikuwa farasi wakati yo. Asa kuna farasi ngamia likuwa zikuwa pozo na chungwa, yu ni ali, nini, 19, 1994. Sato kakua kuna tajiri wetu walikuwa nituwa Tony Achesa, but alienda. Asa hindi ulipata, hindi likuwa mwenye kambuni wakati yu kwa nituwa Camel Sensation. Sato kifani ile Camel Sensation, eh, mini kuwa nafanya kazi the other side kama gardener, nituwa kuchunga bomo. So ni kuwa hapo, nilipenda sana wanyama, na mi upenda pia ku kutolea vitu zingine zingine zingine. Sasa so, nilikuwa hapo nilikuwa na crossover nikuja nikusaidia kuchunga hiyo farasi. Nikaanza kujifunza polepole kujua pole, mambo ya ya ngamia na pia farasi. Like any other type of animal husbandry, horses too needs proper feeding and vet care. Kuna ile gonjo inaitwa colic. Colic ni tumbo. Farasi na mwana tumbo. Na hiyo gonjo ni hatari sana. Sasa so, uki kila wakati uki ukikaa na farasi uh, symptoms zake zikikuja fasa na lala chini. Sasa ikaanza kulala chini unajua ako na hiyo uh, dalili za hiyo ugonjwa. So ukipata hiyo ugonjwa kama ako nayo dawa yake kuna ile ya kupatia fasi na bado inaiponya. Eh uh, unipatia pombe. Unipatia pombe hii ya either tasca inaisaidia na kuna ile mafuta ya liquid oil pale inaisaidia. Sasa nikaona iko nayo dalili hizo ndio tunao shughulikia vitu za kwanza. Jo ile hiyo ndio ugonjwa mbaya ile hatari kwa farasi farasi ikuikui mgonjwa kando na hiyo pengine tu ikwe mvunjika mguu ama na uchunge miguu sasa so, ndio tu vitu tu hatari mguu na ile ecole so wakati umechunga hiyo na pia mgonga wake wakati una saddle uneka kiti una make sure kiti imeweka vizuri so hizo vitu tatu tu ndio vitu tutakuwa na kuangalia sana kwa farasi eh mimi mwenyewe nimeelewa farasi zaidi yeah. but kwa ile vitu zingine maybe kama mkuu mgonjwa zaidi kuna wale daktari tuna tuna deal nao so, wakati mefika ni kwa hivyo, sasa misuwezi, kuna ole daktari mabetu, ndi unawapigia simu wanakuja kuangalia. Kuna chakula ke special, kuna chakula kama horse meal, kuna bale, kuna, kuna horse meal bale, wheat bran. Sasa hizo chakula hizo unamix, na nunuwa tu kwa, kwa duka kuza chakula farasia. Yeah. Any food kama ngombe. But as I can kuna horse meal na wheat bread. So na mix is a laugh na zipate. La, Bado na kunile chakula na mchamushia kama bale. Na boil vizuri ya laugh na mix na hile eh, wheat bread na horse meal. Laugh wana kula. First unjua zina kula 24. Si kama ngombe. First wana kula usi kuna mchana. Sa kuna pata kuna kati na uzia ya moja na inenda tapaka 400 shillings. Na wakati ukonezo fire zoto na pata per night. Iyo day and night nataka kutumia nyingi ya so unapata kwa kwa nini moja na nini moja kwa siku moja unatumia pesa nyingi sana so wakati unapata kwa hiyo bado unapata maybe hakuna kazi hakuna nini so unapata vitu zinakuwa as you work zinakuwa mbaya sana so challenge kubwa sana ni upande wa chakula bado ilikuwa ni vigumu sana jua wakati uko unategemea fast peke yake so inafika mahali amna wateja akule mtu anataka jumara mingi wakuwa anaona kama kazi kazi ya nini mambo fast ni mambo ya watu Upe. So, kwa hii maichwa kwa mafore na speke yake. So, wakati kwa nasa unakua kwa chini, nilita changa moto mingi sana. Horse rearing is a lucrative agribusiness. Timothy asserts. Faida, kuna faida ina nyingi. Juhu watu wanaamini tunifaida tulazima ati pesa zikuwe zikopali. 
kuna zile vitu zitakuleta zile zitakuwa zinaonekana sasa ile tunakwambia kitu ya kwanza kwa ufugaji wa farasi eh, ni mzuri kwa kitu moja itakupatia daraja ya vitu nyingi eh, kwa mfano kama eh, kuturuku kuweka farasi watu za kuwa natoka huko mbali wanasema anakuja kuendesha farasi na unapata pengine farasi ile pesa tu peke yake iweze keep hiyo vitu kuendelea through watu kukuja hapo eh ile kavutia watu wengi na pia ukapata mindset ya kwanza kuset kitu kingine These are some of his clients who occasionally come to his ranch to learn how to ride horses Sorry sorry Are you sure? Yeah. Just go. I go. One two three. Just one and one. I An evidently young but talented band that comprises of his sibling often entertains clients as they enjoy horse riding. Timothy is lucky to have an access of a forestry surrounding that enables him to make some money from his animals. Kwa mfano kama umefungua mali, unaweza kujipata hapo mali umefungua hoteli, umefungua eh uh, campsite, unafungua vitu vingine. So farasi mtasema farasi ni kama huko. Kwa kama unataka kufanya kitu kubwa, unaanza na kitu kubwa, na kitu kubwa itavuta vitu vingi zaidi ya. Kwa mfano kuna mali kama Mamba Village, Nairobi Mamba Village. Si ndio tumwa tutumanisha Mamba Village zile na kaza kitambo. Ukenda Mamba Village kuna crocodiles, kuna zile mamba. Na watu wengi wakitoka huko kote mali wanatoka wanakuja wakisema wanakuja kuona mamba. Na kwenda kuona mamba ni shilingi 50 kwa mtoto, shilingi 100 kwa mtu mzima. Na unaona hiyo pesa hizi katosha kulipa wale watu wote wako hapo. Nitaji nini mingi sana. So baada ya kufika hapo watu wakifika, amekuja na hiyo mtoto wametumia hiyo 50 na 100, pengine walikuwa watu wawili. But kuna zile pesa nyingine watu wanatumika kwa upande wa chakula, kila kitu napata sasa ametoka ametoka hapa maacha 10,000 ndio ndio pesa inafanya namna gani inafanya ina run hiyo hoteli yote mzima so farasi ni up usitumie farasi kama direct ila kuja kuku simamia kila kitu yuki kuja kuangalia kama hapa hii ni ranch hii ranch tunafanya tunakuwa na birthday parties watu wanakuja hapa na wana aya ground mm-hmm. eh, kuna picnic tables sisi ziko hapa wanakuja wana aya kuna campsite iko pale chini wanakuja wana camp kuna grills ziko hapa wanakuja wana cheza hizo vitu so hizo vitu wote zinaleta income. Sasa hiyo ndio income inafanya zaidi hii biashara yetu ifanye namna gani ianze ku roll. Lakini si hati tu kusema tunategemea farasi throughout. Farasi tu ni huko imefikisha hapo na kufika hapo kwa zile vitu zinafanya hii kazi na songa zaidi kwa sasa hii si hata farasi. Hizo vitu zingine. Ground na naona hizo vitu kama hizo ukifanya unapata jo farasi ina ku cost. Inataka chakula, inataka kwa mgonjwa nataka dawa wewe mwenyewe unataka unishi kwa hiyo but unajaribu kutoa zile vitu zile azikukoa zile aziko costly naona kitu kama maybe hizo hizo code bike zikiharibika utaziweka hapo hazitakuitisha mafuta ama nini lakini farasi kwa kuna kazi ama kuna kazi mtakuwa unaipatia chakula mtakuwa na hizo vitu zote sasa kuna vitu mingi sana zile nenda niki weka kwa but under one umbrella through farasi ya Arable Africa's co-host Beatrice Maina was privileged to learn more about horse riding. Nona hii inaitwa saddle. Alafu farasi yote inaitwa achi. Achi. Eh, achi jina kama kampuni yetu. Sasa kabla hujakalia kwa farasi kitu ya kwanza ukikuja utakuwa ni quick position. Nitakuwa na send nitakuwa na kuja. Nona hapa. Eh kuja kuja upande hii. So kila wakati ukikuja mimi ndio nitakuwa nilikuwa nimesimama hapa. So ukikuja una approach farasi kutoka mbele si nyuma sasa kuja unakuja unapita kuja sasa kuja unafika hapo usiende nyuma unabaki hapo so ukibaki hapo hii hii inaitwa stop hii stop ndio utakanyanga ndio ngazi yako kwenda juu sasa ukikuja hebu songa hapa karibu eh uh, nataka kupima nini yako 
Nona kama Hassan ilikuwa mimi nashika hivi. So na weka hapa. So say kwa iko hapa ndio ndio nitakwenda niweke urefu ya hii kamba chini. Sasa pia wewe nitakweke mkono wako hapa. Ndio ndio nijue nini yako iko wapi. So una na just. Hebu weka mkono tena. Sasa hiyo size yako sasa. Sasa alafu na leta mguu wako kushoto. Left leg. Nashika hapa. Alafu na 1 2 juu. Sawa. Eh, takutengene hiyo nishapima. Nitakupimia ina shida. kamba hivi eh eh hivi sasa kick gonga kidogo kutumbo tena so it's a click naanza kuenda so ukitaki simame unavuta hii kamba nyuma hebu vuta nyuma zote saidi moja nishike zote zangu kute nyuma kute nyuma kabisa ah kick kick na mguu wako kick sawa so, sasa so kick kama hiyo ndio akwenda sasa na nikichoka akichoka una unaona tu vinya na bf vinya anamkalia anaenda na kama anataka kutupa teke sasa ndio sign zake ya kuwa amecho, amechoka. hapa Kenya mara mingi tu eh, kwanza farasi watu wengi wameiondokea wa si, si kitu rahisi mtu kuingilia ukulima farasi ni mzuri sana na tena ukulima farasi ni mbaya sana ni mzuri sana kama utakuwa uko na vision but ni mbaya sana kama utakuwa unataka vitu za haraka haraka ukulima farasi nataka ukiingia unataka uvumilie vitu mingi sana usikimbie kwa farasi kwa sababu muona mtu fulani anafanya farasi anatengeneza pesa anakuja kwa TV, anakuja kwa gazeti, hapana. Ingia kwa vitu vingine vya nimekwambia hata mimi sijaingia kwa farasi kwa kuweza kufanya hivyo. Mimi nimejipata kwa farasi. So wale mafama so kwa hapo nje ningependa kuambia kitu ya kwanza, hakuna <laughs> ile kitu iwezekani kwa hivi dunia. Eh, so mara mingi msiogope kuingia kwa kitu. And for some of you who are interested in venturing into this kind of farming and business, you need to begin here. kwanza kule mtu anataka kuweka farasi kiti ya kwanza nitamwambia kiti ya kwanza chukua hiyo farasi uiweke na usiweke kama atikiti ya kutaka faida chukua farasi uweke kama ngombe nyumbani ama kama kondoo nje kondoo faida yake ni nyama tu sasa ni kiti ya kwanza chukua farasi uweke kwa farm kama kuna uwezo ukaweka farasi kwa farm itaanza kuzaana tafuta farasi wa kike na wa kiume waweke tu pale usikuwe na plan yote na wao kama kwa sawa la toko na shamba kubwa kubwa ndio farasi ukitupa kwa mali kuna shamba kubwa watakupata nafasi ya kukula na itakuwa rahisi sana lakini usijaribu kuchukua farasi kama unaishi Nairobi town kwa, kwa plot wende uweke kwa mtu hapo utakuwa unapoteza but kama uko na shamba mali popote hata kama si Nairobi na unaishi Nairobi hiyo shamba yako tafuta farasi uweka kwa farm ijenge na uiwache faida ya farasi ni hata kila mwaka inazana ukua na farasi inabeba mimba mwaka mmoja na ile mwaka mwingine inazaa kila mwaka ina inaza 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 so ukichukua nafasi moja wa kike baada ya miaka 5 utakuwa nafasi 5 na utakuwa nafasi 5 baada ya miaka 5 utakuwa nafasi 10 na kitu kwa sababu kwa bahati nzuri wazee wa kike wa kike wawili 
akifikisha miaka mbili na nusu anaanza kuzaa pia. So kianza kuzaa tutapata nini itaongezeka zaidi. So wakati tutakuwa na nafasi wengi ile wakati ta, kama kuwauza ama kuanza kufanya kazi yako itakuwa rahisi sana. Juu wakati tutakuwa na breed watakuwa na kiti ya kwanza tunazoea ile weather wako ndani wana nini vitu mingi sana. So sita, ni, ni rahisi than kwenda kununua farasi nje. Yuzo kata kununua farasi nje kija kifika pale azipelekani na ile nini kwa hapo so anza kukua wagonjwa na kukufa tena. So ile kuchukua farasi mbili wala watu wako pale chukua farasi enda weka kwa farm mali na uiweke uisawa hiyo ni long term investment. E first wa kulea ni zaji nanzia shilingi 1150 kwenda juu. Farasi mdogo ule wa kulea. But kwa ile sasa usio farasi wa competition ni farasi wa kumweka tu kumlea. Sasa ukitafuta but kupatikana si rahisi. But tunataka kusaidia taka kuja kupitia kwa sisi ukipitia kwa sisi tutakusaidia na vitu mingi sana wakati unua farasi kuna vitu mingi zile wewe uweze ukajua so ukitaka kununua farasi tembea na ule mtu anelewa farasi usitembee na pesa ukitembea na pesa utanunua kitu mbaya ndio kuna nafasi kwa zile tutakuwa na kuangaliwa unajua farasi yako na shida ama ana shida sasa ukitembea na ule mtu anelewa na mambo ya farasi atakusaidia but kuanzia shilingi 1150 kwenda juu utapata farasi za kuweza kulea but tutaka ile farasi wa competition wako hata milioni na eh milioni moja na kitu juu nikisema wale wa kutumia wanakuwa me retire kutoka kwa michezo wamerudi chini so 150 200 300 unapata farasi ile ile kusaidia kwa hiyo kazi such an inspiring story from Timothy Simiu i personally did not know that you can actually practice horse rearing as a type of farming moving on to our next segment the how to segment did you know that you can actually plant backwards in your homestead and feed it to your animals i mean poultry and cattle well, you have a lot to learn. Our day-to-day -day lives continually depends on technology, and so is farming. And that is why we have this next segment, Agritech. Take a look at this.
It is always fun having you join us on Arable Africa on every episode. Please follow us on our social media handles that is Arable Africa across all the platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And just before I go, I want to leave you the last segment that is in the market value so that you get to know what to buy and at what price so that you get value for your money. Until next week, I've been your host, Faraji Kevin, and this is Arable Africa.